Welcome to our service of remembrance as we gather online with one another, even though we're physically distant, we are together in spirit. And together in spirit, we pause in this busy season to remember those we have loved and lost. We're living in the shortest days and the longest nights of the year. And we know what it feels like to be in darkness. Christmas can reflect a time of joy, but it also can be a time when our hearts are filled with pain and sorrow. For some of us, the holidays are a time to just get through, a time when grief darkens our days. Well, tonight, we'll be given a chance to sing and pray, to meditate and reflect. Several times throughout our time here today, we will read the names of those who have passed through this life, and we will light a candle in their memory. We will be offered a time to offer up our pain, our loneliness, and fear to the one whose birth we eagerly await, Jesus Christ. We pray that you will find hope and peace and comfort in this service, knowing that you are not alone. There will be three times during our service tonight when the names of our loved ones will be read as candles are lit in their honor. These are names that uh, Resurrection family and friends have turned in to us. And of course, uh, that list that we have is not exhaustive. If you don't hear the name of your loved one read, or if you'd like to add a name to the list, there will be a time after the last reading when you can name, uh, say their name out loud so that we may honor them as well in your own setting. We also know that there are uh, hundreds of thousands of names of people that we don't know, that we'll never meet, who have died this past year through the COVID pandemic. Family members that would have been around our dinner tables, around our, our holiday and our Christmas season, moms, dads, sons, and daughters who have passed. And for a lot of the time in our, in our nation, we've kind of just moved past that grief. We haven't spent time with that grief. But tonight, we remember all those who have suffered and have died. So now, let us together worship during this time of remembrance. Sing us together, Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now. It was grace that taught my heart to fear And grace my fears relieved How precious dear that grace appeared The hour I first believed My chains are gone My God, my Savior, strands on me in like a flood. mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. The Lord has promised. His word, my hope secures. He will my shield and portion as long as life endures. 
my chains are gone I've been set free My God, my Savior Has ransomed me In the comfort mercy rain Unending love Amazing grace My chains are gone Unending love, amazing grace. There are many times we've felt overwhelmed by our loss and felt that death is not fair. The pain in our hearts brews a mixture of anger self-pity, and hurt. Life moves on, and we sometimes feel left behind, trying to pick up the pieces of our lives and not knowing how to put them back together again. A reading from Lamentations. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Let's pray. God of mercy and peace, enter our hearts and hold us in your embrace. Bring us comfort and healing in this season. Let your spirit flow through us so that we may honor the memory of those who have died and have the courage to continue living and loving. God, we remember those whom we have loved and lost, and we are warmed by our love for them and the love we have shared together. They were your gift to us and hold a treasured place in our hearts. We pause to remember their names, their faces, their voices, and the memories that bind them to us in this season. Thank you for never leaving us alone, even in our sorrow. Be with us now as we remember those who are in your care. We pray this in the name of the one who gives us hope eternal, Jesus Christ. Amen. The first reading of names. Lee Muraski. Mary Lee Egan, Frida Green, Mert Johnson, Maria Cabrera, Felix Cabrera, Marion Dillon, Howard Purcell, Harry Dillon, Gary Bailey, Melvin Hendrickson, Marilyn Hendrickson, Rosa and Irwin Bent, Lorraine and Harold Johnson, Elvira Elhard. and Margaret Elhart.
depths cried he In darkest places I will call Incline your ear to me anew And hear my cry for mercy Were you to count my sinful ways How could I come before your throne Yet full forgiveness meets my gaze I stand my grace and I will wait for you I will wait for you on your word I will rely I will wait for you surely wait for you till my soul is satisfied Christ emerging from the grave And I will wait for you I will wait for you On your word I will rely I will wait for you Surely wait for you Till my soul satisfies There have been many days of darkness where our grief overwhelms us and we feel separated from ourselves. We feel separated from others, separated from God. We feel the clouds of sadness and depression as we deal with the reality of our loss. Friends and family return to their lives and we are alone and the silence is deafening. We cry, and the tears cease to ease the pain. We pray, yet the prayers seem confined to our own ears, far from the ears of Jesus. These are difficult days. Paul's words from the eighth chapter of Romans, however, reassures us that we are not alone that Jesus Christ is always with us. From Romans. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Or tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? No, I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depths, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let us pray. God, we thank you for these words of hope and reassurance. We thank you that even though we sometimes feel separated from your love, you're always with us. Help us to remember that you love us deeply and unconditionally. Give us comfort and peace. Restore us. Renew us. Refresh us. Amen. 
second reading of the names. Kurt Johnson, Jane Ruff, Jean Deneen, Doug Hennis, Herman Taylor, Laura Zaccardi, David Storvik. Karen Storvik, Barbara Loftus, Don Hagenstoon, Rosalie Miller, Sharon and Gary Seedorf, Gunker Kittleson, Tyler J. Bankin.
Accepting the reality of loss is a difficult journey. But we don't have to do this alone. God's Spirit helps us to take steps toward healing. Jesus said, The Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything that I have told you. Let us pray. God, we ask you to lay your healing hand upon us. We offer up to you our regret and sorrow, our difficult memories, our grief, loneliness, and pain. Push back the darkness and give us hope again. Amen. Third reading of names. Grandma Rosa. Grandpa Irwin. Grandma Elvira. Aunt Margaret. Grandma and Grandpa Johnson. Pat Daly. Thomas T. Brown, Ken and Lorraine Rouse,
Many of us who've lost loved ones, family, friends, we spend a lot of time praying for them and praying earnestly for their healing. It is true that we believe in the power of prayer and we believe in God's healing power as well. But what also is true is that healing comes in many ways and it can come through death it can come to the end of suffering. We believe that this life is not the end, that our loved ones, our family, and our friends have taken on new bodies and are enjoying complete serenity and peace with God, just as you and I believe we will as well. So as we seek healing in this life to the mystery of God, let us pray. God, we celebrate the coming of the one who promises us no more suffering, the one who promises us light, Jesus Christ. In our times of darkness, remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. Come, Lord Jesus. So this evening we remember, we remember how our lives have been blessed and enriched by our loved ones. We remember their smile, their embrace, their love, and their investment in our lives. Relationship is what we've been created for. Relationship with God and one another. And that relationship, however physically distant, is still alive. Amen. Well, as we end this time, we invite you to reflect and to continue uh, to pray. Take time. And if you have a candle in your home that you would like to light this evening, as I say, the names of your loved ones, we invite you to do that as well. If you've noticed, we've left a candle unlit. And that is a candle for uh, you to light in your homes as we remember those loved ones, but also a candle for us as a nation to light, to remember all those who have lost their lives this year. Now we go in peace knowing that we are not abandoned, that we are held in the palm of God's hands. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Amen.